Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have t times of t times of t plus t times of t equals to 810 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So here first you focus in the exponent of these values. So you see here the basis of all these values are same and its exponents are also same so according to the exponent law we know that its bases are same so we add its exponents so uh, we will write this term as t to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus similarly we write this term as t to the power of 1 plus 1 equals to 810 uh, and now you will get here uh, this is t to the power of 3 plus this is t squared equals to 810 and now in the next step uh, we need to simplify the terms and now here we focus in the right hand side this is 810 and we write it as 810 is equals to uh, we write this term as 81 multiplied by 10 and now here uh, in the next step uh, we write this uh, 81 as 9 square multiplied by we write this 10 as 9 plus 1 and now here further in the next step we have we multiply this 9 square on both of these values and it will be written as this is 9 cubed plus this is 9 square equals to 810. And now further we need to replace this 810 equals to 9 cubed plus 9 square so that our above equation should be written as in this form. This is t cubed plus t square equals to 9 cubed plus 9 square. So now in the next step we need to move these two terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as t cubed plus t squared minus 9 cubed minus 9 square equals to 0 and now here in the next step we will make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and the square term with square term so we have the cubic terms are t cubed minus 9 cubed and the square terms are t square minus 9 square equals to 0 so further we need two nice formulas the one is cubic and other is square so we know that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and uh, so this is our cubic formula and now here our squared formula is a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so uh, according to this we can first apply the cubic formula on here and it will be written as this is t cubed minus 9 cubed here we have t minus 9 times of t square plus t into 9 plus 9 square and this whole equation uh, 9 square plus uh, we have this is t square minus 9 square so here we can apply this squared formula so it will be written as t minus 9 times of t plus 9 equals to 0 so uh, for this you see here uh, we have t minus 9 be the common term so if t minus 9 be the common term uh, uh, we will take common t minus 9 the remaining terms are t square plus this is 9 t plus this is 9 square 9 square equals to 81 and plus when you take common uh, t minus 9 we get the remaining values are t plus 9 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and we write it as t minus 9 times of t square plus this is 9t plus t equals to 10t and 81 plus 9 becomes 90 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into two cases so that the first case is we write t minus 9 equals to 0 
and the second case is we write t square plus 10 t plus 90 equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of t is equals to 9 and from here we uh, need to solve this quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. So first we can write the coefficients of this equation. So its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 10 and c equals to 90. These are the coefficients of the above equation. And now we can apply the quadratic formula. So first we state the quadratic formula as uh, this is t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the our quadratic formula and now here in the next step we need to substitute the values of a, b and c here. The value of b is 10 so it will be written as minus 10 plus minus square root of b square. So here our b is 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 90 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1. So further in the next step we need more simplifications and we write it as t is equals to minus 10 plus minus square root of 10 square so 10 square equals to 100 minus 4 times of 90 equals to 360 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So now here in the next step we need more simplifications and we write it as t is equals to minus 10 plus minus square root of 100 minus 360 is equals to minus 260 and it is divided by 2. So now in the next step we need more simplifications and we write it as minus 10 plus minus square root of uh, here we write this 260 as 65 multiplied by 4 and we can apply the square root on negative term as well it is divided by 2. So here uh, we need to take the square root on these two values and it will be written as minus 10 plus minus here we know that square root of 4 equals to 2 and square root of 65 we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So here we can uh, divide this separately on both of these values. So further you see here we have our t is equals to this is 2 5 is a 10 and we get minus 5 plus minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get square root of 65 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation <clears throat> and we have the one real root of the given equation is t equals to 9. So these are the three solutions of the given equation. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.